Good morning! We are live from my house doing Pilates. So if you have not done so yet, uh, go ahead and get your mat ready and we will start our one hour Pilates session. Um, this is not for the faint of heart, so um, just be aware that some parts are really challenging and that's okay. You can take breaks. Remember to breathe in between. Um, I will make sure that we take water breaks and breathing in between um, all the exercises. Uh, most of these exercises are designed to tone and strengthen. Um, some of it do, some of them do uh, also create flexibility, but most of it is toning and strengthening and there's some balancing in there as well. Okay, lots of core work, so get ready. Okay, so let's get started. It is now 9.30. So let's start first by finding your block, if you have one, and place the block between the thighs. Now I want you to squeeze the blocks together. So with your thighs, squeeze the block. All right, so really tighten. So now you're gonna feel everything around your thighs really nice and tight. Now create a triangle, index finger and thumb and find your area of the pelvis. So here's the hip bones. <clears throat> Go straight across, transverse. Thumbs meet. Index fingers meet right by your pubic bone. Now go ahead and pull in and up. So in and up. Okay, and now go by your solar plexus and pull in and up. So you're lengthening the spine, you're also engaging the core. Roll the shoulders down and away from the ears, palms facing forward. Now we're gonna start with our Pilates breath. So keeping it all nice and tight here and in between the thighs, squeezing the thighs together. Start your breath from the rib cage, flare out the rib cage as you inhale. And then slowly as you exhale out through the mouth, the rib cage drops back down and the diaphragm also drops back down. So it's a deep breath, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. So let's do five of these. Be mindful of your posture always. Engage that midline from the thighs to the pelvis to the abdominal cavity. Here we go. One more time. Good. Now take the block, place it between your hands, bring the feet together, lengthen the spine, tummy in, okay, pelvic floor in and up, navel to the spine, slide over to the left side, feel that stretch, inhale, bring it up, exhale over to the opposite side, keep going, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. All right. Spreading the feet out to second position. Again, tell me in and up. Bring the block in front of you. You're gonna plie all the way down and slowly come up. Inhale to prep. Exhale, plie. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Four. Five. Seven. One more, eight. Stay in this deep plie and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 
Good. All right. Stretch the quads. Okay. Now we're going to do plie, turn, lunge. Plie, turn, lunge to the opposite side. So I'm going to demonstrate once, and then we're going to recuperate by taking five breaths, and then we start. So it's plie, lunge, plie, turn, lunge. Okay? All right. So let's come back to our Tadasana Mountain Pose. Squeeze the block. Squeeze the thighs together, shoulders down and away from the ears, length in the spine. All right, close your eyes, five deep breaths.
the other side. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, and eight. Good. Shake it up. Back to standing. Okay. We're going to take a deep breath. Chair pose. Arms up. And then pivot forward and bring that left hand to the floor as you turn over to the right and your right palm is facing outward. Good. Chair. Come back. Turn to the opposite side. Good. Keep going. Chair. And opposite side. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four.
So here's what you're going to do. You're going to come up on the tippy toes as you straighten the knees. So up and round bay. And then bend the knees, open the knees up. Keep the back flat. All right, so we're going to do 10 of these. Inhale to press. Exhale to lift. Two. Three. Four.
I'll demonstrate first. We'll rest and then we'll go. Hip dip right, hip dip left, drop the knees, come back. Hip dip right, hip dip left, drop the knees, come back. Okay, get your drink of water. Ten of these. Just a sip. You do not want it sloshing around in there as we're moving. Okay, four breaths, you can break.
and down. That was four. Tap, tap, slide. Slide. That was five. Tap, tap, slide. Slide. That was six. Tap, tap, slide. Slide. That was seven. Tap, tap, slide. Slide. And child's pose. I didn't think I could have done more than eight. <laughs> Rest. All right, drop the left foot down. Come back to sitting. Grab your block. So, this is a glorified sit up. But I've been doing this. I think it's better than a sit up because it focuses on your posture. You're going to place one block between the thighs. Knees are bent. The other block, as you can see, is going to be facing the ceiling. It's very hard to come all the way up. So you're going to come up to here, place the block underneath, and then come down. Okay? All right. Inhale to crown. Exhale. One. Two. Three. Four. Inhale to crown. Exhale, five. Now we 
into an opposite. So you're going to come up, look at your toes, your feet are up off the mat, parallel to the mat, and we're doing scissors like this, okay? So I know your abs are tired, so let's just stretch it out. Five deep breaths here. Go. 
up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Stretch the right hand straight. <coughs> Four, three, two, one. Now seven. One more. 
five, four, three, two, one, that will take. Good. Let's stretch forward, forward bend. Five reps here. saw in the leg. <laughs> uh, take the block, so you're going to sit on the block, it makes it a little bit easier, you're at an angle. So put the blocks longitudinally next to each other so you have something to sit on. Come into a straddle. Don't open too wide, it's just a small straddle. Just open the leg slightly. Back nice and straight, tummy in, neutral spine, shoulders down. Arms out, you can bend. The elbows like ballet arms, okay? Take a deep breath. Exhale, imagine someone's punching you in the tummy, so suck it in, suck it in, navel to the spine. Squeeze, turn, and saw this leg twice. Pulse, pulse. So it really works the obliques, the midsection. Up, and turn, saw, saw. Keep going. Up, saw, saw. Eight, pulse. Pulse. Seven. Pulse. Pulse. Six. Pulse. Pulse. Five. Pulse. Pulse. Four. Pulse. Pulse. Three. Pulse. Pulse. Two. Pulse. Pulse. One. Pulse. Pulse. Good. Come back. Nice and straight back. All right. Now, move this up a little bit. I'm going to move it up so you can see me a little bit better what we're doing next. This one's challenging, but I think you'll have a little, a little bit of fun. All right. So lean back. Try to balance. You can keep your hands on the floor if you need help, but try to keep your hands off. If you lose balance, put it down. So it's one knee straight. Alternate, other knee straight. So it really works the hip flexors. Tummy in, back straight. Hands, keep it on reserve in case you lose your balance and put your hands down. Warning, it's a deep, deep, I call it the Pilates Dracula. Really bites. Gets those hip flexors, the iliopsoas, and the abdominal muscles. Here we go. Lift, here we go. 10, 10, keep that back straight. Nine. Nine, don't put the feet down. Eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, four, slow as hard. Three, three, two, two, one, one. Good. All right, stretch forward. Four deep breaths. All right, now you can put the hands down. <laughs> you can put the hands behind you on the floor. So let me just move this forward so I'm in the center of the camera. Place your butt right on the blocks. Hands right behind you. Tummy in. Open the knees out. Heels together. Back straight. Lots to think about. Okay, you're going to straighten the knees, point the toes, and then bend the knees into frog. All right, you can put your hands out like this or forward, whatever feels comfortable for you. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Rest for five seconds. Switch the knees left and right. Okay, this one's a doozy. Here we go, knee tucks, tuck in. Leg straight, tuck in, knees together. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good, rest. Stretch the legs out. Perhaps come down. Feel that stretch in the hip flexors. Stretch in the belly. Five 
legs here. We have two more exercises. Then we're going to kill these hip flexors and abs. Keep breathing. One more. All right. Come up. Hands right behind you again. Now we're going to do crossovers. Here we go. Ten. Ten. Nine. Nine. Eight. Eight. Seven. Seven. Six. Six. Five. Five. Four. Four. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. One. Good. All right, how are you holding up there? Forward bend, rest. Next one, and last one, that will kill these hip flexors. It's gonna be sore tomorrow, but that's okay. Hip flexors are very important for the entire back. You need to have strong abs and hip flexors to support your lower back. Here we go, scissors, 10, 10. Nine, nine, eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Good, you are done with that. Take the block away. We're gonna turn around onto our tummies and work the back muscles. Forehead to the ground, elbows bent 90 degrees. And you're going to come up, lift, and come down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Push into child's pose. So, forehead on the ground, legs come up, okay? Have your feet apart, hopefully you can see me, um, or not, let me see, can you see me? I'm going to move this way, so you can see my legs. Spread the legs out, not distance apart, up you go. I like to call it the fish block. Here we go. One, two, three, squeeze the butt, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right. Last time we use blocks, we do some push ups. Protect your knees. So have your knees on the block. I'm sorry, knees on the blanket, hands on the block. So you have two blocks. Spread it out as comfortable as you want, whether it's wide, wider, or your shoulders, okay? All right, so feet are up. You're doing push-ups on your knees. You can cross at the ankles or leave them be. Parallel, up, whatever feels comfortable. Try not to banana back it. No banana back. Tummy in, neutral spine. Engage the abs. Use your chest, your deltoid, all of your arms, not your back. Engage the abs. Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right, let's come on to our side. Have your elbow on the mat. Keep your left hand on top of the waist. And what we're going to do is we're going to pivot and hinge from the hips. High for bend. Lift the feet up. Your hand touches the feet. And then it comes back to your waist. Okay, here we go. Eight of these. Eight. Seven. Three, two, 
One. Good. All right. Come down onto your arm. Okay. And you can lift the legs, both feet up, and scissors. Ten, ten, nine, nine, eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Top leg up. Bottom leg meets the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now top leg bend it. Keep your foot by your knee. Up you go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Good. All right, tummy in. Open the knees, heels together, plant shell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's do the other side. And then guess what? Stretch down and you'll be all done.
and come up. Right hand up, reach over to the left foot. Four deep breaths. next time. Bye.